looking at? What the hell am I looking at? Is that this thing? What the fuck is that? A delicate tangle of arms and legs unfolds from the reeds, limb by limb. To then just stand there, moving its scythe-like arms in ghostly silence. What is that? What are you talking about? The giant stick insect. There's nothing there. The stick insect is over three meters tall. It looks straight at you. Oh my it's god, it's the phasmid! And it's grotesquely small. That's what it said right here, and I didn't even catch on to it. Holy shit! You feel your legs shake under you, and your gun hands rise instinctively. This is... I see it. Tell me what you see, damn it. I can't make out one small thing in the reef. Kim, can you see it? I can see it. Kim can see it too! Four simple words. Thank God. If he can see then you're not insane. But that means it's really there, spinning slowly in absolute silence, its limbs long and slender. Be very, very careful. Then takes a step towards it. Wait, I'm supposed to leave him alone? No. Why would you just leave a murderer? Your backs are turned to him now. Antennae hanging from his head like a woman's hair, white and curled at the tips. It is no more than five steps away from you. The segmented antennae move with apprehension, searching for something that's not there. Reed-like tufts stick out of its joints. As the insect moves its forearms, it produces a faint hiss. Like a reel-to-reel -reel machine spinning after the tape breaks. The hiss is different from the strings you heard before. What is going it says on? Something else in a lower pitch. Listen carefully. Ooh. Approach carefully. Okay, let's listen carefully first. Oh yeah, we've got to be able to pass this. This is the insulin phasma. It is. You glance over your shoulder. The lieutenant holds a piece of milled aluminium. He begins to pull it open. Are you sure you won't scare it off? It's the camera. We need a photo. No one will believe us. He needs to pull the From lens the open. of your eye, you see a sudden cascade of motion ripple through the phasmid's limbs. A series of ultrasonic clicks fills your ear. I am not palatable. Do not eat me. I am afraid. Uh, it's afraid. Stop now. I won't be one of those fools who didn't take a picture. Yes, yeah, stop filling the camera, but does not put it down. You see the phasmid turn to him. Its mandible antennae reaching out. Oh, God. Its motions are quick, sudden. Uh, who cares what they think, Kim? Understood. Of course. The spindly mechanism okay. turns itself Woo! back to you. It's antennae taking their measure of the air, slowly. Say something to it quietly. Don't be afraid. Nothing changes in the cyclical brain motion of the creature's limbs. This is crazy. They are porcelain white on the inside and reed colored on the out. Beige, light brown, and striped. How does he not you see are that though? If it is scared or not, its insect mind is impenetrable to your reasoning. So we we did plus three to Linda's childhood experience. Your course will be marked by stars. Miracle way out in the west. Laid the pheromone on thick. Slowly, with your breath held, you take two small steps toward the phasmid. The creature lets out a series of ultrasonic clicks that swarm around your head like swallows. Like laughter, a sort of happiness. Sweat drips from your brow, soaking your chest. You reek of it, you your chemicals. Reek of it, your chemicals. Hissing and clicking, it extends its mandible like antennae to greet you. That's You're this right, right here. Below it now, looking up at the colossal chitin of its white limbs. The head of the creature the is crowned the by reeds, and its eyes are small droplets of water. And its eyes 
are like small droplets of Raise water. your hand slowly. The insect stops its stridulation, seeming to observe you. Below its crown of reeds, little pinprick eyes detect motion, glittering. The world stands still around you. Suddenly, there is silence. No, stop. Be afraid. Mm, no, raise my other hand. As you do, the invertebrate comes to life, its limbs moving independent of each other, as if each has a mind of its own. They are white like stalks of porcelain, knitting above you, praying to you. Um, that's right, pray. Unwittingly, the insect continues its stridulations as it moves tuft like structures still pretending to Please be tell me that I'm not making a mistake. On yeah. its joints. Perhaps it is preparing to eat its god. Um, hello, I'm Harry. I don't really know who I am. No reply. A total ancient silence comes from its mouth, along with what appears to be some kind of foam. Stand on your tiptoes and look more closely. Its limbs continue all around you. You were right. Little bubbles form on the mouth parts of the creature, on its segmented lower lip. It looks to be foaming slowly. Oh my god, is it gonna is eat white, me? Then no. Yellowish. The faintest smell like you've never felt before. Like burnt roses. Damn, it's foaming. Careful. It may be poisonous. The foam slowly turns a darker shade, like burnt caramel, as the insect moves its mouth parts. Masticating. Love it. The little bubbles begin to burst. One by one, letting out that same smell like summer burning. Tell me what you're doing. I exist. Hey, we're talking. I exist. Uh, is this a dream or is how I exist too? Tell me what is life for you. Uh, if I tell you what will happen. Then I will tell you what is like for me. For me, it's fire burning. For me, it's wonder bar. Um, I'm ill. What is your illness? My body aches. I'm bleeding. I'm ill in my head. I'm insane. That's how it is for me. Um, my body aches. I'm bleeding. I smelt it. As soon as you stepped on the island. Strawberries. Fresh burst of red strawberries. Ripe, tiny riper. Soon you'll be rotten. Soon you'll be rotten. Now I will tell you how it is for me. For me. It is a series of half-lit images, a kind of darkness being intruded upon, transient, dim, voice. Intruded upon by what? Shapes of plants and animals, and in turn... What a weird, like... I thought I gave up this whole... I thought they would have removed this from my quest line. On the inside of my forearm. Surprise this guy isn't trying to crawl away. Like, slowly. I am at the end of an era funnel. Wait to us. So I'm glad to be me, an incredibly sensitive instrument. Few of us can begin to imagine the horror of you. It's it must be like the highest of hells, a kaleidoscope of fire and breathing re glass. Like Eternal damnation. When you're sleeping. And when you carry it around on your neck with eyes open that cannot help but swallow. More behind the mirror, I feel great. Mute empathy for you. It's very disorienting at first, but I'm keeping my shit together. When you're tired and the vision spins out of control, the insects will be looking on you, rooting for you. In honor of your passing, but not me, because I am just a leaf eater. Detective. Arriving. On the scene. Detective arriving on the scene. I am a detective. So am I. I was born to detect sucrose rewards and semiochemicals. What were you born to detect? Um, the killer. He's in a bad state, deteriorating fast now. He thinks I am beneficial to him, but I am not. I only quicken his deterioration. You're destroying him. Very slowly, and only because he won't go away. It is meant to keep them from noticing me, to interfere with the pictures in their heads. Okay. But he has looked at me for too long. And I'm destroying him. Is this a dream? Well, you're awake. I am real. 
Where does this come from, all this around us, the Not world? Even the birds know that. Not even the water you eat. Then all we can do is beat our fists against it day by day with no answer. You can also eat it. If it's a leaf, you can put it in your mouth. Yum, yum. yum. Or what exactly are you? I am an unknown species of the Orgen right. Phantasmodia. It may have unknown dangerous biochemical characteristics that can help it maintain its camouflage unnoticed by the first settlers and the land surveyors of the Susserin. also by the soldiers of i have stayed hidden through four forms of government i have stayed hidden through four forms of government, forms of government and two scientific and revolutions wow. discovered by a detective of the cities of malaysia in rebel show district of martinez march 51 are you poisonous yes. I do not have a start of display. Oh, so do not worry, it is only destructive over long out. periods of the time. Deserter. He's been here for a long time. Are you the miracle? No. Oh, how? The moral of our encounter is I am a relatively new demon. Well, you are extreme, all engulfing a madness, a volatile, simian nervous system God. ominously new to the planet. The pale too came with you. No one remembers what? you. What? The Medarians do not. The radially symmetric do not. What is the it pale? Is a nervous shadow cast into the world by you, eating away at reality. A great unnatural territory. Its advent coincides with the arrival of the human mind. I don't have that kind of power. Island and irrepressible miracle. The vacuum of cosmos and the stars burning in it are afraid of you. Given enough time, you would wipe Maybe us all out and replace us with nothing now. just by and accident. I How? I suspect it will be something like. The oxygen holocaust that wiped out anaerobic life to 2.6 billion years ago when organisms first started breathing only much of worse. Where you exhale thoughts. There are no trees that eat thoughts. Worse how? Everything your eyes touch goes back there. Behind the nerve mirror. What if you blink? Are you still, are you still here? here? Oh Please god. Don't. What if you misplace us all one day? What is oh, always thought this way? Oh, you're only thinking it now. This is a revelation. I want to blink and I do 12 billion years of expansion. I have already forgotten the whole world once when I drank too much. So it is already happening. Soon, one of you will close your eyes. And open them to see that none of this ever that. existed? None of this. Kim, am I having a violent none epileptic existed. seizure? It doesn't look like that, no. What does it look like? You're just staring at it. Then I think I'm having a vision about the final fate of mankind. Okay. Is it somehow related to the case? Uh, no, I told you what it's about, our fate. I think we should take a picture, and then you should... <laughs> I think we should take a picture. <laughs> I have to say goodbye now. I have more. I have no more thoughts, that was all. No. There is one more. Uh, okay, all the creatures I've met, you are the kindest. All the creatures I've met, you are the scariest. All you are the most beautiful. Thank you. I also have one more thing to say to you. That woman... Turn from the ruins. Turn and go forward. Do it. Oh. Working class. I will. She was middle class. It doesn't take a three meters deep insect to tell you that. Uh, okay, Kim, take the picture. Okay. There is no change in the insect's motion. While it's being aimed by the camera, it remains fixed. I don't know if this is a good thing. You. In three. If it moves, you jump back. I'll shoot. Here we go. Three, two, one. The shrill flash of the camera cuts the air like the blade of a sword. The phasmid freezes in its bright light. Oh, okay, it okay. We're okay, right? Lieutenant, hypnotized by the flash. It stands nice picture. frozen before you. Beautiful. I got it. You hear the lieutenant whisper as the creature's shape develops into photo paper in his hand, a polychrome ghost of white streaks against the reeds of the sky, and you as a shadow before it. For all time. Touch the creature's whisker. Careful, pet its scythe-like forearm. Uh, I'm going to back off. Don't say it. Are you sure? This may be the only chance you get to touch it. Uh, we got it, Kim. A shudder pulses through the creature's limbs. It jolts back to life, like a record continuing where it left off, in a swaying, praying motion. 
Even the small black pearls of its eyes do not stray from you. I just engage slowly. As you're turning away, the phasmid mirrors your What a oh, what an insane encounter. What a weird thing. Feather weight without breaking its surface. And it's gonna leave, right? Yeah. Bye, Phasmid. Bye, random. All right. Cool. That was fun. Enjoyed you. And just like that, it's gone. it's gone. Skating away across the sea's calm mirror like a skipping stone, leaving nothing but circles on the water. And something under it, in the place it stood, bobbing there, among the reeds. A collection of collection items? items? Oh. It's gone. Uh, it can walk on water? What's that in the reeds? It's like a nest of some sort. We should have a look. It can walk Apparently, on water? Yes, like a water strider. Yep. Only... What now? What now? some kind of strange semi-catatonic state our suspect is not looking so good we need, we to, need check to check on him. on him uh what's in here though Ooh! oh it's the helmet and there's the rifle scope and the passport oh Looky, looky what we found. Okay, one second. Uh, let's look at this. This passport, issued by the Sovereign Republic of Orania, is issued to a black-haired woman. Ah, uh, Katarzyna Alazije. Alazije. Uh, oh, Alazier. Classius hidden documents from the MT boy. Look at the photo. It's Clasia, with short black hair and glasses. I think she, she told us that name. Younger I think somehow. she told us that name. An old photo before life came and did what. What was she does. doing in the Phasmid's nest? What was this doing in the Phasmid's nest? Maybe our man, Mr. Dross, took it from Classius, or whatever her name was. Hiding place, or. Perhaps for some blackmailing plan? Perhaps. But that still doesn't explain how it got into the nest. Uh, Thasman took it, and I sensed it do so. I saw something open up the buoy with spindly legs, point to the head. Mm, no. Like a magpie? What a coincidence. Then it would also have collected the other Which objects. would be highly unusual. I can see how the helmet could wash up on the island, and the scope. So it's been collecting a bunch of stuff and putting it away? But to seek this out would be very unusual behavior for an arthropod. Would it? Maybe it was simply curious. Maybe it was curious. An octopus belongs to a very different class. It's not even an insect. It's a mollusk. But yes, I see your point. It says Caterzine Alessie. Alice she said, said it would be for Anouk Meyer Smith. Anouk Meyer Smith. Right. Caterzine Alasia was supposed to be her real name. Where Clasia comes from, remember? God right. damn it. Right. I told you she kept on lying to you. She's probably lying to someone else right now. Another detective. She's a great liar. A great liar. It was supposed to be a real name. She lied to us. Maybe this is a real passport, not a fake, because it's a real name. She lied to yes, us. Yes, somehow she managed to lie to us. One, One more, more time. time. In a way, she's still lying to us right What's now. What's her real name, then? I don't know. But yeah. It was not, it was not Katarzyne, or Anouk, or, or Klaja. Or right. Klasia, whoever she... she is. When we get back. Too many lies. Okay, let's go back to talking to you. Let's save. Sorry. What is it? What do you want from me? How can you not see the phasma? I can't see. He stares at the reeds and falls silent. Mr. Dras? The man does not respond. Uh oh. He keeps staring. He's gonna die. His eyes glazed over right. and bulging from their sockets. His gap toothed mouth shaking. 
with fear and longing. Shit. Like an addict of some terrible substance. So have your fingers under his nose. Wave your hand in front of his eyes. Touch his shoulder gently. The plastic cape feels coarse. A light He's still moving. Passes the man. Still moving. Other than that, no reaction. He feels small and frail. He's going into some kind of psychomotor, psychomotor immobility. immobility. The good news is this solves our transportation problem, doesn't it, Mr. Dross? The trembling mouth appears to sigh. Between this and the broken tire he's used for a boat, I think it's safe to leave him here while we go and get help. It will need to be medical first, I'm afraid. What has happened to this man? Old age and shock. I think it's the phasmid. Yes, the arrest and the appearance of the phasmid, the combined stress. But you think it's something more than that? I do. There's much more. You couldn't see it, Kim. It's just the reads for him. Spoke. Couldn't it be there's something hormonal in his relationship to the phasmid? Without the phasmid, it said it's destroying you him. You should be more careful, detective. Are you sure it wasn't having an effect on you? It's only trying to remain unseen. The degradation is a side effect. A valid hunch. Long-term exposure to something like that could be neurodegenerative. Also, please be careful when approaching a known species in the future. Uh, he couldn't see it, Kim. It's just reads that for him. It could be part of the shock. But you're right. Something is off here. He touches the man's shoulder. No response. Maybe this is how the Phasmin has stayed hidden all these years. Then how did we see it? Oh, you mean, whatever does this, does it Does it over time, time right? Teenagers, kids, drunks, sightings are brief, and that's right. not credible. But anyone who spends a long time with it. Yes, you forget it's there. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dross, have you ever seen a stick insect? Pretending to be the reeds. The, the, the. No, he's. I just. I just hope he doesn't. I hope that we don't leave and then come back and he's dead. The doctors will have to look at this. I hope your station has better medical personnel than fifty-seven. This is a little advanced for a nurse. Could it be there's something hormonal in his relationship to the phasma? You mean pheromonal? Oh yeah, did he say hormonal? <laughs> but it did say hormonal, so I read it. He seemed a little off for a man his age. Randy? The scope? Knowing of her bruises? He's... You should be more careful, detective. Are you sure it wasn't a valid hunch? Long-term exposure to something like that... Uh, what did I say before? Oh, this. Mean pheromonal. Inspect the man. He does not look hormonal anymore. Right. Motionless. His plastic cape flaps in a sudden gust of wind. Been here for a long time, who knows how much of it in its company. He did seem distressed when it finally came to arresting him. Like he didn't want to leave this place. And, and the insect, insect maybe, right? I have absolutely forgotten to take notes. I hope I remember all of <laughs> Why this. Why don't you take them now? This will be one hand of the report. Uh, we I found some things right. in the Fazbear's nest, Mr. Dross. He stares into the reeds. Your words don't stir anything in Showing him. the passport? No reaction. His breathing is slow. And he appears very old all of a Around sudden. Around 80. Did you take his passport and other papers from a boy on the coast? The spirit. He hears us. The spirit? No reply. He's gone again. He's gone again. Try something else? Uh, let's go. I, I lost. You lost it. He turns his eyes to the reeds again, as he's done so many times. He lost the scope. Then it somehow made its way over there. With the help of a magpie phasmid. Yeah. This site is a T9, Mr. Dross. Was it attached to the rifle when you made the shot? Silence. Not even a sigh. You've gotten all you will out of this poor being. Uh, I don't really need to talk about the helmet. The plastic cape flaps around his face in a gust of wind. His back is slouched and his mouth open. The blacks of his eyes are receding. His pupils are returning to normal. The strength has all gone out of him. Just frail old bones in a sack of tracksuit traps. Okay, so hang tight. We should think about getting back to the mainland to get help. He'll be safe here if we don't take too long. Okay, so we need to use the boat to return to the mainland. 
Let's get out of here. If I remember which way to go. Okay, so we're gonna leave. We're gonna F5 this. Go up here. What a discovery about who killed. Uh, as I said, a little disappointed in who the killer is, but I sort of get it. This feels familiar somehow. And what is the ICM? Insul Indian Citizens Militia. It's the official name of the Communal Army, the black and white army of the revolution. Right. Sounds an awful lot like. RCM, it sounds like RCM Revachal Citizens Militia. It does. Why? The RCM may descend from the ICM. It's impossible to say. It was chaos after the war. The name was good for getting people to join us. Revachal West was mostly workers and criminals. A white star pointing star on the label. No. An upside down star. With its horns in the sky. The symbol of the commune. Are those oh, spec stars too? An inhabited oh. archipelago. A DeLorean era symbol of Insulinda. Looks no old. What's it still face. doing here? After 44 years? That's not nearly enough to hide what happened here, Lieutenant Gifreto. Right. One of these barrels was still leaking fuel, as you saw. The city is full of things. Old bullets, like guns, fuel. Right. Oh, no! Ah! Uh, sorry. I think I... I think I dropped my microphone on, uh... I dropped my mic on the keyboard and it reloaded. <laughs> All right. I'm glad it reloaded and didn't do something stupid. So. Yeah, we're going to go through that conversation really quickly, though. ICM. Insul Indian City. Yeah, yeah, sounds. Okay. It does. The RCM. It's impossible to say. No. With its horns in the sky. No. A DeLorean air. After one of these barrels. Okay. F5. Go down here. Go down. Okay, we need to go back on the boat. The skiff is so Let's return. Yes. We are done here. Hey. Hey. The skiff rocks gently under your weight as you get in. The ride back is uneventful, uneventful and, and quiet. quiet. Yeah, because we just learned so much information. But for the sound of conversation on the water, there is someone inland waiting for you. Two men and a woman. Stand on the concrete square of a nameless So we had this, this Esprit boat had this vision when we were up there. The that, that two men and a woman were there. You reach the jetty and climb out of the skiff. Okay, F5. Right here. Yeah. Look what the tide brought him. Oh, hello! Harry, you're bleeding all over the place. You're half dead. Sort of. This is the man with sunglasses from the whirling in rags. But where are his sunglasses? Wait. You're the man's. Uh, uh, yes. That's right. And you're, you're bleeding. bleeding. Forget about all this. There's a giant. No, no one else seems bothered by the bleeding. Bothered by it? Harry, you look like you need a fucking organ transplant. Oh, fuck it. Let's not get into that. Who are you, people? Hello? I'm Trent Heidelstein. I believe we've met on several occasions. Okay. I'm your goddamn partner, Jean Vicumar, and this is your special task force. Or what's left of it. Special Consultant Trant Heidelstam, Battle Officer Judith Minot. Hi. You did? We've come to scrape what's left of you after payment. Lieutenant Kim Kisoragi, Prison 57. We've just come from the island where our investigation led us. We might need your help with something later. Yeah. As if he recalled that he's in fact a decorated police and not a naughty boy. Not a naughty boy. 
But this is clearly a departmental matter, so I'm going to leave you to discuss it among yourselves. Ah, uh, no, Kim, you gotta have my back. Let's destroy them. No, thank you. It's good to meet you, Lieutenant Kitsuhagi. Uh, what is this about? Ari, we want to help you. Trant, I believe this is where you come in. This is the horse-faced woman. I don't know why you named. Yeah, why do we keep calling her the horse-faced woman? You sh um, I don't quite know what I'm doing here. I was asked to participate as an expert. I think I need to manage your expectations a little. I'm at best an enthusiast in cognitive science. One sec. My background is in something else entirely. I engage in neurology. On a oh. merely theoretical level. In fact, I should probably get going. No, Trump, it's too late. You're part of this shit now. What have you got to say for yourself, shit kid? What does he have to say for himself? He left you to catch the bullets. How did you know I was here? The cafeteria manager you fucked over told us where you went. I saved his establishment and he still betrays me. Turn to face the general direction of the whirling yell. Damn you. Told um, you. And the uh, people on the street are plus two with your whereabouts. Uh, you aren't the man with sunglasses at all. You're not even blonde. You... I'm sorry I didn't recognize you before. It's okay. I didn't come here to gloat or to fool you. Neither did he, actually. That's right. Worried. I'm always worried about you. Every time you don't show up to work, or when you do about stink. You're a worry fest. She's worried about you. I'm worried about you. <laughs> Even Special Consultant Backpedal is worried about you. Everyone but I'm doing worries. better now because I'm Instead not drunk. I'm not on drugs. I'm solving a case. You aren't the man with sunglasses at all. You're not even blonde. Guilty as charged. I heard you'd lost your mind and your memory. I wanted, I wanted to see if it, was, if it true. was true. And it was. Good work, Harry. You're insane now. You're insane. There's one less person for me and everyone else to rely on. Yeah, I had that coming. And what coming? Not recognizing people you work with every day. Brain damage. Uh, so Trant turns out to be special consultant Trant Heidelstam. Yes, I'm Trant Heidelstam. I never said I wasn't Trant Heidelstam. Wait, what was up with the kid then? Mikael? Mikael is my son. Because he was the one that was up by the Feld factory, right? Right. Oh yeah, what was up with the itching history spying on me? No, I was just interested in the Feld building. Oh, you were actually interested Egypt. in it. Oh. And Him being there with his son, it was not a coincidence. It's difficult to see. But he was worried about so what are you specialty also, special consulting what here? indeed i was asked to share my take on some of the more obscure theories developed in Königstein in the 30s like partial psychotraumatic amnesia group personality theory he's here to see if you're insane <laughs> <laughs> uh Let's duped again on. no uh no one's who they say they Duke. are hey here's a brilliant idea don't be a don't morbid be a drunk, drunk right duped so easily gardener scab leader this Tell me at least you are who you said you were. Yes, I'm still Kim Kisuragi. Still a lieutenant still from Precinct still caught up in this crossfire. You so, mentioned a task yeah, force. Major Crimes Unit. And all Lieutenant Dubois and Vikamal. Ring any bells? Uh, who else is in Refresh this? Refresh your memory? It's a goddamn Major Crimes Unit. Yeah, but you already Those know that my brain's, like, not working. So why don't you just calm down and tell me the and people? Kill, Thank you. I'm technically just a civilian advisor. Oh, fuck you. You're part of this shit show. Uh, who's Guillaume Bevy? Oh, that's an interesting story, actually. Guillaume Bevy is a police reporter who joined our team. He was really good. Then he left because he lost faith in your ability to lead the unit. Other people have left too. Good, smart people. People we won't get back. Only me and this really patient patrol officer are still here. So I'm forcing and him to stay. Is this Bevy blonde and partial to sunglasses? Is this Guillaume Bevy blonde with... Oh. See? There. He's getting it. I was impersonating him. Look at me. I'm G. Bevy. It, it was, was going to be funny, funny, but then you really did have really some brain damage, so not much. I thought it was going to be amusing. Okay, so what does the unit do? Do? It's a major crimes unit. 
We clear the desk of cases, so pressing 41 doesn't look like the worst station in town. We're shit tier yeah, now, shit. Harry, because the of you. First right. isn't... <laughs> the 41st isn't the worst. Uh... Where have you been all this time? God damn it, Harry. You told us to fuck off. You, you said, said we're cramping your style. style. You're detective god. Fuck everything. All we burn. Detect, Detect or, or die. die. Wait, so you let me face the squad of trained killers alone just to teach me a lesson? It wasn't like that. Fuck you, Harry. We didn't know there was gonna be a tribunal, did we? All will burn, satellite officer Vic Mayor, uh, make no mistake. Uh, why didn't you detect or die then? Oh, you think it was cool you saying that? Aesthetic somehow? You were crying when we got here, breaking things. You said we were going into the abyss. Okay. None of us wanted to see the abyss, so we fucked off. <sighs> like None of this is ringing any bells. The bells aren't ringing because you have brain damage. Trant, this is where you come in. How, How bad, bad is, is it? it? Well, he doesn't have visible tremors. He talks without slurring. He can drive a boat. I didn't drive the boat. Standing, that was Kim. All good signs, but complete retrograde What's wrong? amnesia. Episodic and semantic. As displayed in a station call, our interactions with him, and I don't want to be a snitch, but also mine with him before when Harry did not seem to know who I was. It's all very interesting. Interesting? Yes, interesting. I have my theories, but I would like to hear Harry's thoughts first. Harry, Harry. what do you think happened to you? Neurologically, um... psychologically, and why not socioeconomically? Uh, you think I'm so poor, I lost my... I drank so much, I lost my memory, and now I'm slowly recovering. He is. He's getting better. And I can confirm that he drank a lot of alcohol prior yep. to it happening. I believe he drank. People do that, especially this one. What they don't do is forget their whole life because of drinking. But Detective Vigmer, he has blanked out before. I have? Yes, a couple of times. After some of the more serious benders. One was after the two drunks case, the other when we looked into that mural. Interesting. So at first he dipped his toes into it, prepared. That's where he would have gotten the idea, yes. Practice. And then he used alcohol to get there, so to speak. What do you mean? Well, here is my theory. What if this is an absolutely normal reaction to the world we're living in? What if this is not a significant anomaly at all? Something to be explained, approached as a defect. Look at the sensory input here. Look at the ruins, the neon. Listen to the radio, the multitudes, the people. Live here for 40 years. As a police detective, he's like a magnetic reader on the world team. Or a known metaphor. Moment. Harry's been pushed flat been against pushed it. Flat Total against input. It. Hardwired to the free market. He just needed for it. He just needed for its end. Okay, right. Trump, thank you. That's absolutely meaningless i'm glad we I'm brought glad you <laughs> will he or will he not be able to work in the major crimes unit is he a cretin now i want to know that he's not a cretin and he is able to do work if not in his previous leadership role then as a line detective um line detective is good for now. now i misphrased my question it should have been he's able to put his clothes on and use the body or do we need to get him on a disability pension they can keep that pension you're I'm rock solid, solid, right? You can put your clothes on hard. hard. What now? Now nothing. Now we're just going to stand here. Yeah, yeah. Just stand there. It's cool. Really? No. Now we discuss that. What the fuck did you do to a motor carriage? Why is it there, Harry? Um... I drove into the ocean when I was drunk. Ah, oh, so refreshing. He just admits it. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for destroying 45,000 real of this property that's coming out of everyone's spacelift. It doesn't matter. Your badge, Harry. Show me your badge. Uh, I got my badge right here. In a rush to demonstrate your badge, your eager fingers can't sustain a grip on the smooth plastic, and the badge slips. Are you serious? Uh, I guess I'll try to do that in a hand-eye coordination 
I can level it up, though, for one chance at this. It's gonna fail. Hey! I didn't fail at 28%! Aha! Uh -huh. Um, behold my badge. Uh, yeah, I got the badge. Your gun. Uh, my gun is right here. Ooh. I upgraded my gun to a rifle. No, I'm gonna show him the gun. <sighs> he has it. And he didn't drop it. You're drunk like a berm, Harry. Put that thing away before you kill someone. You asked for it. So it doesn't matter what I found my gun. I'm not drunk. I haven't started drinking again. So you forgot to drink? I don't buy it. Why do you smell like a corpse then? He's wounded. It's been a long week and he's handled an actual corpse. Hold on. I just haven't washed myself after. Yeah, I've handled an actual. Yeah, it's been a bit of a week. I'm sorry I smell bad. A bit of a week? You're drunk? George. I'm not drunk. You Calm down. In the head. You went in drunk and intimidated her. We've read the report, Sari. Lieutenant Kitsuhagi's. We know. Uh, I didn't intimidate her. It was a misunderstanding. She thought I was sent by... You're right, I messed up there. I pressured her and it's on me. Oh, right. The... Right. She thought I was sent by... You're right, I messed up there. I pressured her and it's on me. That was nothing. She was unimportant. Uh, it's just a small deal in a huge case. It doesn't matter. None of it does. We were looking at auction holocaust. Um, I pressured her, and it's on me. Oh, well, if you feel guilty about it, I'm not even going to get into what this means for the ethics commission. I did. I, not to mention I messed the up. catatonic old lady with the police lights, or the fact that you're ever Claire's little peony now, doing I don't know what for him. That's small time stuff. That's nothing. That's a humorous anecdote. Compared to the eight people uh. who were gunned down, the streets are literally red with blood, Harry. It was fucking massive. I know it was. I failed a lot of checks there. He did everything he could. Yeah. We did everything we could. The company hired and vetted mercenaries. Lieutenant Dubois got between them and the locals. Here comes the cavalry. He did so at considerable risk to his own life. He was shot not once, not once but, but twice. twice. We yeah. stopped an execution, not a negotiation. The loss of life was minimal compared to what it could have been. It also solved the case. It solved all of it. Uh, the firefighters is a trivial matter compared to the greatest discovery of this century. Yeah, I don't want to talk about the Basman. Detective, it's better if I do that. Thank you for the input, Lieutenant Kitsuragi. I didn't mean to suggest you didn't handle the situation. Right. You've spent the week with him on this case. What is your take? We have a really good relationship, so he's mm, going to be really... The case? On Lieutenant Yofretor Dubois. Well, the drinking, the gun losing, also losing the badge, that's all true. Although he has not been drinking on the job this week. So Kim's job was to take care of me or to like to figure out if I was capable. My job was to solve the murder. See? One week. Then there's the self-flagellation issue. He likes to apologize profusely making it sound like he's guilty of at least first-degree murder. It's not a good communication strategy for an officer. Right. It's worrying, especially considering his political views. Detective Dubois is... As so this is a summary of who I've become economics. in the game. He wants to liquidate the ruling class, which, again, for a police officer, is a little odd. Other still, he is also an ultra-liberal hustler who is always <laughs> on the grind. How he reconciles these two points of view, I do not know. But he is vocal about both of them. And then there's the motor carriage in the sea. And the constant smoking everywhere. I only smoked oh. once! But despite all this, he is a great detective. One of the best I have seen, in fact. He can talk human beings into telling him everything. And he doesn't stop. In all the time I've spent with him, he has not once stopped right. pursuing leads. However far-fetched and tangential. He is tireless and he madly tireless, driven. Madly driven. And he solved it. Near perfectly. In one week we have a confession, a murder weapon, and the perpetrator. Locked on the island right now, awaiting transportation. He apprehended a straggler who stayed hidden for 50 years, ever since the revolution. 
Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Over those years. Oh, and he also discovered a new species. A new species? A colossal stick insect. It was on the island, camouflaged as the reeds. It uh, unfolded from the reeds. I he takes out the photo of the first Oh, man. here we go. I bet you there's going to be nothing in the photograph. The Watch. The wind blows, flapping the glossy rectangle in his hand. You hear gasps beneath the howling of the wind. As you can see, it's about three meters tall. In fact, we think it may be the largest land invertebrate ever discovered. So as you can see, I'm a pretty okay detective and an absolute giant communist. I'm not saying that. Fucking hell is that? Is this somehow connected to it's the case? It's not. Detective? Uh, I believe the pheromone it admits may be responsible for the killer's mental degradation. The old man was not aware of the phasmid's presence, exhibiting a strange, atypical dementia. He fell into a stupor after its appearance. He became near catatonic. So it is connected. Right. I must say Did you not see the photo when it was taken? I did. Yes. It's I don't even have words for it. Um I did see the photo and the thing was in it, but I thought it was going to just show so this is this was my thinking behind the photo when I first thought about it, was maybe because that guy didn't see it, but obviously he, the, the murderer didn't see it. We saw it and we saw the picture, but you know those like there's movies and TV shows where it's like you see something, and like maybe the people around you see something, but it doesn't actually exist. So then when you try to show other people, it's actually it's not actually there. So like we could have taken the picture and looked at the photograph and like just because of everything that was happening around us and like the the pheromones or whatever that they were talking about we still s like self-consciously or subconsciously saw the phasmid in the picture but it was actually just a picture of a field so we sh i was i was it would have been funny if we had showed them the picture and they'd been like there's nothing there i don't know what you're talking about and it's like oh <laughs> Well, then it's only because there was something going on over there. I thought that would have been really cool, but it is what it is. Yes, it really does make it hard to fire the drunk. <laughs> this is a very, very sad man who has just seen something that's made him forget his sadness. I also started a nightclub in the church. Uh, also, the phasmid is female. The reeds are its nest. Um, I have a strong motive for him. A revolutionary match for him. A revolutionary matron. The custom started in Graz, where they have patronyms. Krasovich, Larsovich, etc. The revolutionaries saw this as a chauvinist atavism, so they used matronyms, derived from the mother's name, instead. <laughs> this man's mother was Lily. His oh. Lilian's son, Lilianovich. The custom was overturned after the revolution failed. Right? Not that's Before a different Lillian, no. Revolution. That's a different Lillian. So, it is not the one by the dog. I think the one by the dog is like L I L I E N N E or something like that. Thank you, Trant. Thank you for that piece of cultural theory. You said you have a motive. Of course. Excuse me. I just thought it was noteworthy. He wasn't quite sure about the straggler before he heard this. Killed the mercenary in an act of jealousy. He killed the mercenary hoping to start a war between the company and the union. Actually, I'm not sure that I have a motive is... It was the jealousy. Jealousy? I thought this Lilianovich was an old man to have been hiding for 50 years, like 70-something. A strange psychosexual fixation. Right. Aggravated, possibly, by proximity to the phasmid and its chemicals. He himself gave a political reason, said he had killed an enemy combatant. Right. Also, we have ballistics from the gun. Matching, Matching the bullet found in the dead mercenary's head, yep. Head. And two officers on the scene that Mr. Dross confessed to. It's a clean win. It's way more than that. It's more than that. Perfect folding mechanism like the Phasmid. It's way more than that. I'll win her back with this. 
Uh, it's my masterpiece. They'll teach this in cop school. I did all I could. Every second was a struggle. I'm still not completely satisfied with it. It could be a little neater. Uh... Perfect bolting mechanism. Get over yourself, Harry. I can still I smell can the still booze smell on the, the wind. On the oh my god, stop! God damn it. Doesn't it ever leave? It is there. Like, like in your bones in or, something. Bones or something. It will pass in time. Uh, there was also a dead man on the boardwalk. A missing person I found. Yes, yes. Fallen through a gap in a boardwalk. Drunk. How do you know I found him? The body was transported to right. Precinct 41, our morgue. I had Tilbrook and Mullins take care of funeral arrangements and uh, family stuff. You're not the only cop in the world, Harry. This all comes back to us. Okay. Still, good work with the missing person, detective. Aw, Judith likes me. It's still a point for you. No denying it. Uh, I also looked into the mystery of the doomed commercial area. I confiscated drugs from Kuno's dad. Who's Kuno? You don't want to know. You're right, Lidno. I don't. You snorted the drugs. I know you did. It's all right. I'm in. At this point, anything I did not drug. snort it. I started a nightclub in the church. Also, the phasmid was female. The reeds are its nest. Like, what does that matter? Female? What makes you think so? You had to see it. It had the subdued coloring of a female. And the nesting behavior, and too. The nesting behavior, too, I think. Incredible. Were there eggs in the nest? Not as far as I could see. There were other things there. See, this would be a fascinating conversation to have with the other people, but I canceled their quest, so... They gathered items in his nest, a helmet, a scope, and a passport. Actually, you know, this would indicate it was a male. Oh. This is far from anything in my field, but I think such nests are called bowers. They are for attracting males. Could have been male. It must be robust if it can move a helmet with its limbs. Uh, I think it reproduces by parthenogenesis. As in cloning itself? <laughs> what makes you think so? Um, it told me. Mm-hmm. Then it wouldn't matter if it's male or female. The bower would just be rudimentary just behavior be before the... Behavior oh, perfect. okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Very interesting. Such organisms are extremely vulnerable to disease. A single, single strain of bacteria would bacteria wipe out the whole species. We're probably species. looking at conservation efforts here. I think it emits a chemical that makes it look here. even more like the reed. Mm. Yes. That would be a chiromone. A pheromone that's seemingly beneficial to the host. It usually stimulates the affected nervous system. Not a humans, of course, perhaps are predators. Nothing is off the table. But uh, I want to stress this. The, the fine does, does not have to be connected to the case. The case is 100% prosecutable case 100%. without any pheromones. Of course, you know. Of course. We should treat the case and the fast made us completely separate from each other. People are not going to... Right. Not going to go for this speculation in the constabulary. It had mandibles that looked like hair and it was completely white on yes, the inside. But also red colored. Beige and brown. And brown. A little green on the outside. After unfolding from a single stalk, it still retained parts that looked like reed tufts on its limbs. Incredible. The PR value of this is exceptional. Carp discovers new species. Maybe even discovers the Insulindian phasmid. No, no, that's too much. No, but that's what I did. This would really help with some of the uh, problems we've been having. Absolutely. This is great. This does not say they vigilante, vigilante murderers, murderers to, me to me at all. This is science, news, human interest. The really good thing you, you have that photo. It. You're doing good here. Perhaps only for a moment, but still. Quit while you're ahead? Or no? Yeah, I don't think any of this stuff is. I don't have to talk about the nightclub thing. I also looked in the mystery of the doomed commercial area. Yeah, no. I don't want to, but you discovered a new species. And solve the murder. Them so I have to, Jude. Hey, nice. Anything that ends the trial is okay with me. Nice. Agreed. The public relations potential of this is too valuable to let go. Okay. We have vehicles in the square, and the perpetrator needs to be taken into custody. Let's go. Oh. Now, now you will finally get to know who you are. Uh, a few questions before we go about who I am. The man looks westward, impatiently, jingling his car keys. Oh, his Jesus. Pocket. I know who I am. Um, am I a dirty cop working for a Luputa Madra? No. Okay. Talks concluded. 
Uh, pretty, you know, what kind of station is it? The Phasmid, I need to tell Lena about this ASAP. Um, Who is Lena? Cryptologist. It's on the way over. Yeah. Fine. If we go. She and her husband work on the Yeah, we need to do that. As soon as possible. It would do. She yeah. is going to be over. Watch out, or she'll faint. Uh, Lieutenant, uh, what will you do now? Well, first I will go back to my station. And, and write the most, the most detailed, detailed report anyone has right. ever seen. Yes, you will. It will have to be good to cover all this. Then I will have a serious talk with About what? Detective. We just stopped a small-scale war. Something is happening to Revachol. I don't know what yet, but it's going to be a hard spring for the RCM. We need to get ready, infiltrate, investigate. Want to do that at Station 41? Talk to Captain Price? I'd rather not ruffle the feathers of... No, I mean investigate, come I work in Precinct 41. Work with Price? I'm flattered, but I don't know if I... No, work with me! I fit in. I'm crazy enough. Can't take Be my partner! He the flattered. Your Lieutenant Kitsuragi. We would be flattered if you even considered. I would have to tie things up in GRIH first. Yeah. But, I mean, whatever is coming, Jamrock will be more central to it than the Harbour. And we also have a huge caseload, Lieutenant. Piles, Piles that we need to get back to. Mountains. I do like the sound of that. Hey, achievement! Recruit detective! Yay! We did it! We did it! Good. Fuck it, let's go. Tron brought his motor carriage. It's a 20 minute drive to Jamrock. Under the afternoon sky, the great district hums. A chessboard of wooden houses, 80,000 living souls. And well, we solved the murder. I'm a little, as I said, a little bit disappointed on who it is, but I like how this is wrapping up. I do like how this is wrapping up. Close your eyes and hear the dogs bark. A lone woman sits by a factory window. Dream. Bring his comments to Dawson? Time. Yes. McLean? Yes. Heidelstan? No. Lickmere? Yes. Dubois? Of, of course. course. Really? Nick Scott Lee looks up from the list. I hear he's unstable. You say that like it's a. Dim the office and the curtains are drawn. Harry's Captain our man, he'll pull through. When he does, he'll slide with the people. Pen. Wonderful. Then can we please just go. Go. Let's go. Oh, hand on his shoulder. A handshake. What's going on right now? We did it! Holy shit, we beat the game! Holy crap, we solved the murder. We are wonderful people. Holy mackinac! Guys.